Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my finale from my 8 by Easter project pan. I know I'm ending this just a little bit early, but I have either finished or hit my goal for 7 out of the 8 products, and since I'm working on quite a few project pans right now, I thought it would be good to finish this one up since I've hit more than what I thought I'd be able to, and move on to my other projects for the time being. If you guys missed Okay, airplane, can you chill? The joys of living, like, three miles from an airport. If you guys missed the rest of the videos in this series, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards if you'd like to catch up before this finale. But let's go ahead and jump into the seven products I was able to finish. The first product is my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, and I finished this up quite early in the project. Honestly, this was such a great primer. I loved it. It was definitely a luxurious product, but I found a product that is 100% more affordable and actually works just a little bit better, and that's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which finally came back in stock, and I was able to buy a couple of them. So I'm finishing up the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that I have right now because I was like hoarding it until I was able to buy more. I now have two backups of it. <laughs> so I was able to get full enjoyment out of this primer. Really liked it. I'm not going to repurchase it though because it's originally 52 I bought it during the 20% off sale, so I bought it for right around 35 36 and that's still steep. <laughs> steep. The next product was actually one where I really just wanted to like solidify my thoughts on it and didn't really expect to finish it, but I finished as much as I could get out of the bottle. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. So as you can see, I did scrape out as much as I could from this bottle. There is a very small, it's dirty as hell, excuse me. There's a very small opening when you take this part off. And I went in with my spatula and spent a long time just scraping out what I could from the bottle. And that's about as much as I could get out. I couldn't get another full use out of this. And I almost broke my spatula trying to get the rest out. So this is actually done. I think I grew to like this foundation more than I liked it when I first tried it because it was a decent foundation. I didn't have to lighten it, um, but it was a decent foundation everywhere except for like right here on my nose. I did see that it started to break down a little bit, but I could work with it for that. Um, and I, I, like I said, I wasn't really expecting to actually finish the foundation, but I finished it. My next product was the Milani Make It Last Setting Powder in the shade Translucent, and I also finished this fairly early on in the project. My next product was a powder from Rimmel. This was the Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 Transparent, and I did use up the majority of this, and then I repressed it because it kind of fell apart, and then I used that up. Everything left on here is just like a little bit of transfer, a little bit of product left over from when I repressed it, but I couldn't actually get it off. To use it so completed i pulled in a product or a pan from my nine pan 19 for this project and that was one of the light highlight shades from the kat von d shade and light palette and i did finish that whole shade up this is completely empty and in that project i've moved on to using the other two highlight shades i've already hit pan in this one and i'm just starting to use the middle one which was the yellow one uh, but i was able to completely finish this one up which was the goal for this project pan if you're interested in following along with my 9 pan 19 i'll throw that playlist up in the cards as well next i have a kylie concealer and i honestly can't remember if i mentioned this in the last update i might have uh i also finished this one up I've been having issues with like depotting recently, so I wasn't able to like get every single scrap of product out of here, but I was able to scrape out as much as I could, and I feel like I got my money's worth out of this, and I was able to use it up. The Kylie concealers are honestly like one of my holy grail concealers. More higher end, they're a bit pricier than I'm used to paying for a concealer, but it's honestly so good. <laughs> I'm seriously considering like purchasing one or two more of those concealers because after this this is my last Kylie concealer so I'm officially out next I have the highlighter I was making progress on this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector in the shade royal glow my goal was to hit pan on this which I more than did my next goal was to kind of make the pan this big and I didn't hit that but I did hit my original goal so this is what we are left with this is one of my favorite highlighters of like 
all time. I keep going back to this. It's gorgeous. I feel like even though I'm no longer including it in a project right now, I'm still going to keep it in my basket, my everyday makeup basket, and reach for it. All right, and last but not least, product number eight. The only one that I couldn't hit my goal on was the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. This was practically brand new when I brought it into my project because I bought this right before all of the blah with Tarte went down. And I think I was a bit naive thinking I could use an entire one of these concealers over the course of like two and a half months. I've been using this every day to prime my eyelids and I've actually really been liking it as an eye primer, but I'm nowhere near done with this. I feel like this is like a an endless concealer. <laughs> I really don't like this for under my eyes. It creases like mad and makes it look really dry down there. So I really can only use it on my eyelids because I do have like really hooded eyes and really oily eyelids. So it, it works there. It doesn't work on my under eyes. So I feel like I'll just keep this in like my everyday makeup basket and keep using it as an eye primer. Maybe I'll include it in a future product. Blah, blah. Maybe I'll include it in a future project, but there's actually like a hell of a lot of product in here. So there we have it. That's the finale of my 8 by Easter project pan. I have plenty of project pans going on right now. I'll leave a list down below. I also have a list of some of my most popular playlists in my description box if you guys ever feel like binge watching. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.